Good morning. You are joining us from our balcony. We've got a better view to be honest, just at the car park. But this balcony is ginormous. Right, the time has just gone. 11 o'clock. We have had a really nice lay in because we needed it after Mickey's Not So Scary, um, which was awesome, absolutely fantastic. But today we are heading off to Epcot, one of our favourite parks. Um, and we've not really been there this trip. Daisy and I sort of passed through it briefly yesterday after our trip on the Skyliner. Um, but yeah, so we are off to Epcot. We're going to go and get the bus, um, hopefully, ride some rides. Food and wine is on, which is one of our favourites. So we're going to try some um, of the lovely food offerings around World Showcase and then we've got dinner at the Moroccan restaurant uh, which we're really really excited before. We've never eaten there before um, so yeah really really excited and we are staying for the fireworks so Epcot forever. Um, I think the forecast is a bit of rain later so we've got our Tesco's value ponchos stuffed into the backpack but at the moment blue skies so we will see you in a bit. So we're at our bus stop, filling up for the day. What you got in there? A bit of high quality H2O. How is it? So this is the bus stop at Kidani. And it looks like it is going to be a beautiful morning. So we're off the bus, heading in. Oh, nice and bright. What are you looking forward to? Very good question. Um really want to go on the three caballeros. I love that road. Ooh, yeah. I bet Luke's looking forward to food and wine. Love food, love wine. Can only have one, but what can you do? What can you do? It's nom time. What are you looking forward to? I am looking forward to yeah, going around the world for food and wine and I'm also looking forward to uh, having dinner at uh, restaurant Marrakesh tonight. Yeah. All about the food. <laughs> it's all about the food. I'm looking forward to the fireworks oh, and yes. the Epcot restaurant. Forever. Yeah, Epcot forever. That. Yeah. How can I forget about that? That's too much. Too much. Too much to get excited about. <laughs> so we are all through bag check, nice and slick as always. Top tip: unzip every pocket on your bag so they can get in there nice and quickly. And if you've got like camera bags or anything inside your bags, unzip them as well. <laughs> so no, no cameras in here, please. Didn't no. take. This did not take long. Right, <laughs> we are heading. We are heading in. Yeah. You excited? Yeah, I'm hungry. Team leader Tracy, he's got the uh, itinerary. Oh, it's all different things. Let's I have got your map, and I'm not sure that you need it. And I've got our food and wine passports, you know, and food. And the airport hours, just in case any of that's changed. So Sweet. Let's head in. Where are we going first? Uh, test track. Yeah. And there we've got Pluto. The interesting thing about Pluto is Pluto is actually not considered a planet anymore. It's actually a dwarf planet, and that's really fascinating. A dwarf planet? Yeah, I think Are there so. seven of them? Do they go on a mine train? There's actually over seven planets in the known universe, and that is inspiring in many ways. <laughs> you are watching a lot of stuff about planets at the I'm moment. Watching too much stuff. Well, it doesn't take that much to know there's more than seven planets in the universe. I didn't know that. <laughs> So Luke's excited because he's a big fan of Diggerland. Am I? Yeah. <laughs> I've got out. pictures of you on Diggerland. Yeah, but like, I was kind of forced to go. It's your best day ever. Not my best day ever. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not happy with these, these diggers here. Not happy. We've got a lot of scrim up at the moment for all the building and stuff that's going on. I do like the new Epcot branding though. However, it is a bit sad that Club Cool's gone. Well, yeah, and the fountains. Well, to... What is a man to do? No more Beverly. No more Beverly. I think there is some way to get it though. So we are heading down into Test Track. Probably one of your favourite rides. Yeah. It's the top three. It's yeah, it's... my top three. Yeah? I told you, Test Track's in it. All day long. Well, you know what? It's not just a ride, it's the experience. And I'm a competitive person. Um, and I just like to, I like to build cars. I like to just, I like to know that I'm making a difference. When I come to Test Track, I make a difference. I've got 10 out of 10 wins so far. Yeah, just have to keep that on a roll. Let's hope the fairy tale continues. We can only hope. So Tracy loves a mug. And we've I got do. the big ones of these. And they've got little, expre uh, little espresso ones. However, the only people who drink espresso in our household are you and 
Anyone else? Anyone? No, but they no, are cute. Just you. <laughs> so we're now in Mouse Gear, which is like the biggest. Oh, hi Daisy. Which is like the biggest um, shop at Epcot. It's really, really cool. Got loads of stuff in it. Daisy's already finding bits and pieces that she loves. It is cool, isn't it? So this is this year's food and wine spirit jersey. Spin it around, Daiso. Nice. What do you think? Everything is better with sprinkles. Everything is I, better. I disagree. I think they are. They interfere with a nice bite of food. The crunchy. Don't like it. What do you got there? Oh, this. <laughs> yeah. Stinky <laughs> <laughs> dog. Put it on your head. I wanna. Please. Oh, what's this? What do you got there? Cool. 70 minute wait time by the looks of things. So. Whee! <laughs> Daisy hurt me. Go on. It's my friend. Yeah. Well done, to add to this. Just, uh, just holding it. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I've just seen these. These are probably taking me back to my childhood. Not that it's got Ray on it, but when you used to get figures on these backs. Good times. Simpler times. They were simpler times. Mm. <laughs> In a galaxy far, far away. Yeah, very, very good. And we had that one. That's good, it's one of Well, these are cool. They sell these individually over in the Star Wars section. Yeah, Han Solo. Oh, oh I can't believe I did that. <laughs> Yeah, there was, there was a time where our hotel rooms were full of these. I want one. Can't have it. Ah, oh, this one doesn't work. What's it supposed to do? I think it's a fan. It's a cupcake and eater. <laughs> cupcake and what? Cupcake and eater. A cupcake and eater! Oh, Elsa is a Go on. I've still got my really old Tinkerbell, like, one of these. <laughs> is shopping your favourite part of a Disney holiday? I mean, that is an understatement, really. I mean, when okay. I come to a theme park, I think as with everyone, when you go to a theme park, the first thing on your mind is not rides, not, you know, world showcases. Ah, oh, let's browse a shop <laughs> and not buy anything and spend half an hour in here. I'm, I'm just here for the aircon. What are you doing? <laughs> Don't do anything rude. This is Disney. What are you doing? <laughs> Luke and I have both been working on the same pillow for way longer than we should have done. Yes. However, how therapeutic is this? It's really nice. It's really nice. Just told him it's like scaling a fish. Meow. <laughs> how cool are these? Come on the cob holders. Right, Luke's getting ready to design his car in Test Track. As you can see, he gets way too into it. He's sharing with Tracy. Daisy and I just muck about, don't we? When we're making our cars. Oh, nice. See you on the other side. Hurry up, get that done. Right, so Daisy has looked online to how to build the best car. So we're going to see how this goes down. As you can see, number one son is sweating all over it already. We're in, Daisy. Let's go. Over in Sweat Corner, what's going down? I'm just trying to find the box. I was just about to start with charge of styling. Oh, all the flowers. Yeah. Looks down like, can we make it this way? Can we make it pink? Is he, is he like upset yet? No, no, he, no. Went, he compromised on like the The difference magenta. between our team and your team is we've just got so much natural chemistry to build the car. We'll find out, won't we? Yeah. How are you feeling? Nice. You got your racing stripes? Yeah. Looks rad. He's not taking any of my racing. So there's air one. I, that was an accident. Sorry, that's cool. Oh, nice. Let's have a look. Oh dear, what's going on here then? <laughs> How are you feeling? Confident? Hey, it's, I'll be honest, it's built for purpose. Um, I normally like to make things look a little less garish. Just about to get on. 
Luke's being all sorts of competitive. Daisy and I are just out for a nice afternoon. Just going out for a nice little spin. Is that, is that yeah. the story you're going to spin on camera? We know what it's like behind the scenes. Now let's see how your vehicles compare when it comes to their efficiency. Playing responsiveness data. Yeah. Such a cool ride. Now the moment of truth to use car was the best. Go on in. Oh, oh dear. Four points in it, that's well close. Is it? Is it? You know, they say four seconds is an eternity in Formula One. Then after you exit the ride, more cars. As you may have noticed, it looks like properly into cars. When he was really little, it took hours to get him out. Not hours, but a long time to get him out of this bit. It's just sitting in the different cars, and yeah, it's really cool. So if you've got anyone that's into cars, they're going to love this ride. Look how big this car is. <laughs> and then finally, as you might expect, exit through the gift shop. There's lots of really cool stuff. Loads of car t-shirts, very cool like racing caps, and of course toys. Hmm? Got a nice little play area for the kids. Nice and chilled in there if you wanted a little break from the park and just let the little ones have a run around. What have you got there? One and only Mickey ice cream sandwich. How is it? I am like a weirdo. But... How is it? Yeah. Here first. Oh yeah. I really like this new branding. Weather is absolutely stunning. It's lovely and warm and we're heading into the land. One of the things that we love about Disney, the smells, different areas, different rides, but this place has one of the best smells of familiarity like ever. Home. It does smell like home. And straight ahead is the Garden Grill. We've never actually eaten in there, but they, it's meant to be really, really good. And they do character dining in there as well. We've heard good things, but yeah, yet to do that. So just been reminded that we have eaten at the Garden Grill a long time ago. The memory's not great. But we have a fast pass for Nemo, so we're heading over to do that. We have a fast pass for this, but the standby buys only 15, which is pretty good. It's nice wearing a short sleeve shirt and shorts again. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, that was well hot. Luke, are you warm enough? A bit clammy. Fantastic ride. Um, it's a really nice place to get away from the heat. It's sat down, it's chilled, it's fun for all ages. And what's really cool at the very end, like all the projections of the cartoons of the characters, project directly into the aquarium. So there's real fish swimming around them. It's really nice. So we are going to head over to World Showcase now, see what food and wine is all about. Not seen that empty before. Must have drained it out for a bit of a clean up. Weather is lovely today though. Luke's just seen this. I don't know what it's coming up like. But what did he do? What did he say it said? I've got my glasses on. I thought it said next cats. <laughs> I thought mum would love it. She loves cats. She loves cats. So Hawaii is the first stop on food and wine. It looks well nice. It does look well nice. Don't know why everyone's going for tables though. When you've got the leaky little city thing. So you order your food and then you just go up to the serving bit and collect. We've gone for spam, pork slider, and tuna. All separates, obviously. Okay, so Luke's going for the spam hash. Or we're all having a share up. What's it like? I don't know. I didn't like the pork. 
So that's the Spam, mm. that's the Tuna, and that's the Pork Slider. Tracy's going to get cutlery, and we're going to get stuck in. So I'm going to go in and pinch a bit of the Pork. Oh, it's loads. Mmm. <laughs> pork, yummy. What's the Spam hash like? Spam? Spam? More Spam? Pork Slider's good, that's good. I'm going to go in for a bit of the Tuna. Is there enough tuna to go around? Yeah. Sweet. I don't want tuna, so it's worth it. That is yummy. Super fresh. Super fresh. So that's Hawaii done. You get a little sticker book. Daisy's marking it off where uh, we've been. Yeah, uh, where we should go. We're keeping our forks for the next stop yeah. and on our merry way. What do we think of that one? I love that pork slider. I get it every time. Yeah, it was quite nice. I like the hash one. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, I tried the pork slider and the hash was nice. I'm not a big fan of under cooked tuna, but that was really nice. Nice. Right, let's head on. Daisy just made a good point. This whole area is just a lovely, pretty nice place to chill. We edit on one of these little walls. Yeah, winner, winner. So as we walk through, we're definitely getting all the feels of food and wine. Music sort of in the background, sun's out, nice breeze off the lake. Just gonna walk through the shop, grab a bit of aircon. Please. Shock horror, what are you looking at? Mugs. Do you like mugs? Yeah. That was nice. So if we were regular residents here, let's have a look at this. So hold on, let's have a look at the back. You got the little clip, what's in it? Bamboo cutlery. That is very cool. What are you looking at, girls? Another mug. Yeah. Can we stop looking at the mugs, please? I love her Lucy just made a good point. He's asking me about my shorts. If you've never seen them before, these are Billabong Crossfire shorts. Probably the best <laughs> shorts you can buy. Highly recommended. Bought one pair. Now I've got four. You could say I'm fully crossfired. And Daisy's out doing a meet and greet. So where are we heading now? We're going to Mexico. Why are we going to Mexico? <laughs> because Aircon and the Three Caballeros, because I love that ride. It is a great ride. We're going in. So we're heading into the Mexico Pavilion. I think as we said earlier with smells and stuff, because there is a water ride, like the Three Caballeros in here, really gives off a distinctive smell, which is like one of those familiar smells which we like. So we're heading in, see if we can get on it. The animatronics on this ride are just unbelievable. <laughs> so we're at Chosa de Margarita. Daisy and Luca got some chips and guacamole. Verdict. Good. Luke. <coughs> Tracy's got a frozen strawberry margarita. Very nice, but I have a brain freeze from it twice now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like easing myself in and it's a lot bigger than I expected, but it's very nice, very refreshing. Nice. And Donald's out for a meet and greet. These are really cool, so if you're doing food and wine, you put your food there. Balance your wine in there. Or your beer, or your frozen margarita. That cheese smells great. Oh, it's amazing. So this is the raclette from the Alps. Hot cheese. Looks nice. great. Thank you. Oh wow. What's it like? That's the best thing ever. Number one. Oh, well. Is it? What do you think? Smells of cheese. What's that like? Yeah. Tell me butter, please. Yeah, the replay was alright. It was not super exciting. The cheese was nice. The potatoes were okay. Yeah, just alright on that one, I think. Yeah, the amount of cheese at home will taste the same, I think. It's just yeah. really it's, it's cheese on toast, you can make it yourself. Yeah. yeah. Tracy just made a good point. It's just coming up for 2.30. This is a really good time of day to do this around the world thing because it's not too busy. And in the evening, we've done it in the evening before, and it's really dark and it's really busy, and you can't see what you're eating, and it gets quite stressy. So, this is quite a nice chilled experience today. So, yeah, thumbs up. 
to in the train a bit. Got some ribs. They look nice. Some prawn and noodles. Oh no. Some dumplings. In the bell bun. Yeah. Right, we are heading into the China Pavilion for a bit of a cool down. It is very warm. The food so far has been very nice. Yeah, a couple of misses. I was disappointed with the raclette so far. Yeah. I was expecting yes, more. I was too. It was it was anything special. No. And, we, and we were expecting it to be really special. It's nice. Melted oh, cheese. So in one of the China shops. For all your Chinese needs. Oh, I like him. He's <laughs> very happy, he's nodding. Do you like cheers ears? Good. We seem to have found ourselves in a corner just squeezing toys. Uh, it's very squeezy on one It's like a pink shark which you squeeze on one Nice, 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 nice. What are these? And we have a surgeon baby just going in for operations. Heat problems. Oh, they're cool already. Now you feel coolie already. Oh. That's, they're called coolie hats. That was funnier than you think. <laughs> Don't give the satisfaction. Do it. No. I can tell you I know. I don't well, I didn't know what coolie was, so now you do. Okay. What's that? I don't know how you wear it. What are they called? A lovely pasta. Ooh. Got lots of interesting foodie bits here. What was it these? Yeah. Oh no, not that one. Yeah, look. I'm like, oh, what are they? And then I'm like, Chong Queen Feng Wei and all that. I still don't know what that is. I love Feng Wei's. Do you? Yeah. Is it your favourite? It's my favourite. What is it? Feng Wei. Yeah, but what does it taste like? Fengy. <laughs> I don't just want a Shelly Senby. I want one a Shelly Senby. <laughs> <laughs> and you got these key rings here and this one doubles up. If you want to catch, catch some fish. Yeah, no one could catch. It's for catching fish. Nailed it. <laughs> Elvis eggs. <laughs> it's like a table of agreement. It is. Yeah. Am I the best member of Cheers Ears? Oh, thank you. So we're in Africa. We've got these shrimp. They look legit. How are they, Luke? Oh, they're amazing. <laughs> You know, when you first bite into it, you're thinking, oh, what's that? I've hurt my teeth, and you realise you bit into the skewer. But then once you get past that, the shrimp is sublime. There's flavour, there's texture, it's everything you could ever want. Just try the shrimp. Oh, yeah, it's a winner for me for today. Really good. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are brilliant. Oh, who's this guy? It's Wunderbar. This is like the best bin party ever. All the best parties are around a bin. So we just watched the band. I think they were called Born to Polka. They were... Wunderbar. Wunderbar. <laughs> Absolutely yeah. super fun. Yeah, they were fun. great. Really um, Jumping and jiving. Yeah. participation and clapping. Great fun. Yeah, that was brilliant. <laughs> And just over here, there's like a little outdoor theatre and they have some pretty decent acts there. It's got Billy Ocean coming and we're here for Daisy's birthday and... She's very excited because Hanson are playing on her birthday so we were going to get ourselves a bit of umbop if we're lucky. I'm thinking a remake of the Friends opening titles. <laughs> yeah. I think you should remake the Friends opening titles. So we're now in Japan. How cool does that look? There's a restaurant in there called Teppanido, which is like a te teppanaki restaurant where they cook it all in front of you and fling it around. Lots of fun. 
And if you're on the dining plan, is that one or two points, Teppanito? Just one. Just it one point. Like it should be two, but it's only one. Which yeah. Is a really good bargain. Top tip, definitely do that. Oh no! So this is a spicy run from <laughs> Japan. Who can wait? <laughs> I, don't, I forgot what we did. Cheers, it is. How was it? Yeah, really good. Mm. How was it? The rice is sticky, but it's not too sticky. You've got great texture. The flavour's fantastic. Give it back. <laughs> so the kids have come out back out of the Japan pavilion with some sort of weirdness. What have you got for Luke? Let's have a look. See the packet. No. It's a fruit gummy candy assortment. Oh, I thought you were going to go something like octopus. Oh, it smells. Oh, it smells great. What are they like? <laughs> Very nice. Are they squishy? Yeah. Squishy. They taste mm -hmm. like fruit. How are they? Really nice. He's yellow. He's yellow. He's a, a, a program I hate. A family in a cartoon program that I hate. He's the main little boy in the family. Yeah. <laughs> So we've decided to take one of the little boats across to uh, Future World. We've got a couple of fast passes. Kids are playing that game. Heads up, they love that. It's brilliant for cues. And it's still absolutely lovely. Oh, you like it? You like it? Living with the land, which takes you through our greenhouses and shows you where we grow a lot of the fruits and the vegetables that we serve you here on Disney property. So we've taken the boat across, which was very pleasant. Very relaxing. And now we are heading over to Spaceship Earth because we've got a fast pass. Yeah, they must be doing a bunch of construction over here because you know, you've got the diggers poking out the top, all the scrim over, and I think they've taken the fountains out. Yeah, a lot going on. Not looking its prettiest at the moment. Love soaring. Love Patrick. <laughs> There's lots of new soaring merch, isn't there, Daisy? Yeah, I like the shirt. Oh. Oh, Let's stop looking at the merch. Let's get on the ride. Can help it. Soaring done, absolutely fantastic. Just love, love, love that ride. And living with the land is a five minute standby, so we go straight on. To the American farm. Yeah. The forces at work on the land, humans have had one of the most profound effects. The need to produce food, innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now and into the future. One day, many of these lesser known tropical plants. Good as they look. In fact, we serve it every year. It's a fertilizer for the plants, and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. In our lab, Epcot scientists are working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a number of innovative projects. That's living with the land done. Uh -oh. Always a classic. Such a great ride. Love it. Yeah, I like that more than I should. Now we're heading over to Morocco. Where are we going? Uh, we're going to a restaurant Marrakesh in Morocco for dinner. Nice. 
I'm well hungry and well excited. So we made it into Morocco. It's really cool here. All the buildings are really cool. So find the restaurant, get sat down. I'm not sure we've been in this pavilion before. But it's very cool, it's very Indiana Jones. This restaurant, this goes way back. No, I've never been down here, it's really cool. Oh yeah. We just checked into the restaurant, all sat down. First impressions, very nice, it smells great. And the place looks awesome. Okay, so the first courses have come out. Very quick. For, yeah, it was very quick. Gone for some sausages. We got like a sample platter. Luke's already gone in. Oh, the bread was nice as well, wasn't it? That's the cheese, pork cheese starter. It's nothing like cheese. It looks no, really good. It looks great. What's it like? Good. <laughs> really good. Is it? All right, let's get stuck in. So the food's proven to be pretty popular. Really weird. <laughs> Why is it weird? Not to be offensive. Oh, I like it. It's really sweet, but it's also savoury. It's right. nice. It's right. The cinnamon swell, someone's just like smashed meat into. <laughs> Quite nice. Well, the first course is safely down the range. That was really good. Like, we don't really eat Moroccan. Might muck about with a bit of harissa paste from time to time, but that's about it. <laughs> that was really yummy. Chicken. The kids are stealing each other's food. Uh, lovely ladies dancing away. This place is great. It does feel like you're in Morocco. You got a bit of baklava for pudding. It's the first time you tried it, what do you think? Very sweet. It is very sweet. Balaclava. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like? Baklava, good. Have you got it in? I have tried it. Go on, get it in your gob, mate. It's oh, lovely. Yeah. Very sweet. The sauce is quite <laughs> <laughs> That was a cracking evening. Lovely food. Very, very nice. And we've sort of come out into this whole area. Which is really atmospheric. Just over in that corner, uh -oh. they sell custard. And just over in this corner over here, they sell jelly. And in that room, through there, they sell hundreds and thousands. It's a trifle bizarre. I'm really pleased with that. I thought of that over dinner. As you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Not creepy. Rub it. Just rub it gently on the side. Oh, the tagine of the lamp will come out. Oh, <laughs> tagine of no. the lamp. No. I'm surprised. Yeah, we've never explored this area, but it is brilliant. It's really nice. Yeah. It's surprising because we just didn't know it was here. Yeah, massive fan of Morocco. How cool is that? Top tip explore all of the little pavilions in Epcot if you've got a bit yeah. of time. Yeah. We've never done it. We should have done Yeah, definitely. Right, if you can see in that shop, there are my kids in there. I have no idea what they're doing. <laughs> so this is at the back of the French pavilion. We just grabbed a coffee. But the cake and like all the sandwiches and croissants and everything look fantastic. Didn't even know it was here. And this is all in the French. We need to get in these pavilions more, wife. <laughs> Oh, what have we got here? A rum and another mug. More mugs. Mug. Funny that. <laughs> well, she originally wanted this one, but only has Remy in it. But that one has. This one's got a meal on it. It's such a boring thing to be fixated on. <laughs> <laughs> All these mugs. <laughs> Don't get it. I thought you meant ratatouille. <laughs> yeah, you would have had. Like... Yeah. Should we just leave in the French bit? I really like it down here. <laughs> 
I wish you would stop doing that. <laughs> so we've got some preferred viewing for the fireworks tonight. So we're heading on over there. Getting all the feels tonight. So we're all sat down, <laughs> waiting for Epcot Forever. So we've got like the preferred viewing bit, which I think costs us a fast pass. All the fires out, plenty of people out, nice and warm. Happy days. Just gone 10 o'clock and we are back in the room we have had an amazing day at epcot spent pretty much the whole day there and um, got there just before 12 o'clock and um, went all around future world rode everything that we wanted to ride today and um, then we hit food and wine and food and wine as always is amazing we had a brilliant meal um, in an area in one of the pavilions we've not explored at all really and we had a wander into France and we've not really explored that pavilion either so there is still we've been here a lot um, but there is still a whole bunch of stuff for us to explore um, and then huge highlight was Epcot Forever which is their new fireworks show um, it's like an interim one so it's going to be there for about a year Epcot is such a brilliant place to see fireworks because it is all set around um, the lake so there are no like real obstructions what's even better is that there are no like real crunchy points where you're going to get lots of people in one spot it was fantastic everything that you would expect from a Disney fireworks show we have had the best day we are really tired so we're just going to brush our teeth and teeth brush our teeth and uh, hop into bed I really, really hope you've enjoyed this. If you did enjoy it, please give us a thumbs up and considering, uh, consider subscribing. And that's it from us tonight. Cheers, ears. Cheers.